Hi, thanks for joining us today. Today we're going to be making the Singapore Naman. Let's begin. We'll need tapioca flour. We'll use about half of this. Oh yeah, I added hot water, um, maybe about a cup. Um, constantly um, kneaded it or knead it. And um, you have to get it to a consistency where you can, um, where it will be for easy for you to cut because we're gonna cut this into a noodle, noodle like. So right here, you could see that it needs more, more liquid. So we'll, we'll pour a little bit more in. Until it, it turns into like a dough-like or a cladle, like it feels like cladle, but it hasn't gotten there yet. So we're gonna have to keep kneading it. So we're gonna add the coloring to it. The coloring is um, pandan um, flavor coloring. It's green. So we'll just add a couple of drops to make it green. We'll add two drops. And if we need more, we can always add more. So. Um, we'll try two for now. Okay, so we um, knead it into the consistency that we like. It's um, it's workable. And so what I did was uh, took some chunk off and then we roll it with the pin into a, a, a flat, um, make it real flat so we could cut it into like a noodle-like. So I'm gonna put the pin aside and um, cut it into small strips and you don't want to cut it too long because when you boil this it's gonna turn um, noodle like so you don't want it to be like a long noodle so try to cut it um, maybe about two inches and then um, I'm gonna keep continue cutting and then I'll show you how to boil it so now we're gonna make um, the next step of our naban and where it's going to be the water um, chestnut rubies first um, you're going to chop up the water chestnut into four pieces and they'll look like this after you chop it up and then we're going to use this uh, red food coloring to dye the um, water chestnut red you're just going to begin with dropping a few drops in there but it's up to your liking of how, how much um, food coloring you want to add to there but once you drop it in, you're just gonna simply um, mix it all together like this until all your water chestnuts are completely turned red. The um, turned to the color that you desire. But I wanted a little bit more red, so I think I might put a little bit more food coloring in here. But see how it's starting to turn. So after you're done mixing it, it should look like this. This is the color that we are looking for for our um, ruby chestnut. Once you um, mix the water chestnuts with the food coloring, it should look like this. And the next step is to pour some um, some tapioca starch over it, and then you're gonna mix the tapioca starch um, on it. And be generous because the uh, more you coat the ta tapioca um, starch around it. It's gonna be even crunchier and um, it's gonna be so much more fun to eat. And you're just gonna mix it all around until all your water chestnuts are coated with the tapioca powder like this. Okay, so now it's time to cook our water chestnut. So gently put it in there and once it finishes cooking, it will float up. So don't even try um, stir it or anything. Just leave it and let it float up by itself. Be careful because you're adding it to hot water and you don't want it to burn yourself. So make sure that you're keeping a safe distance between you and the pot, okay? You can kind of like spread it apart so it doesn't get stuck together like that and just wait for it to float up. And that's when you know it's um, done cooking. So now ruby chestnuts are all done cooking and once um, it's finished, it should look like this. You see how it's floating to the top? That 
that means it's done. So we're gonna go ahead and strain it and um, it'll be ready to serve. So now we're gonna um, cook our uh, La Chong uh, Singapore noodles. And I've already boiled the, um, a pot to cook the noodles in. Once the water uh, gets to a boil like this, you're gonna drop in your noodles very carefully because the water is hot, hot, so be very mindful, okay? So just be very careful. Safety first, guys. And just gently drop your noodles in. And once it's uh, fully cooked, it'll float up to the top. If you don't want to do that, you can just gently uh, push the noodles in the water with a little spatula like this. And just wait for the noodles to float up by themselves. You don't have to stir it. But once you have it all in there, you can gently just stir it a little bit. And then it'll start floating up to the top. After we prepare everything, we're gonna put it all together. We're gonna to put our Singapore Navan together. We have the coconut milk, we have the basil seed, which we put in water, and then we have the chestnut rubies, the La Chong Singapore, the palm seed, jackfruit, the pearls that we boiled earlier, and ice. So let me show you guys how to put it together. Um, we like it cold, so we'll put ice in it. I'll put two scoops of ice. And since I like the palm seed, I'm gonna drop some palm seed in there. And then I love jackfruit, so we're gonna put some jackfruit. It's gonna be a very colorful um, Navan. And then this is the Lot Chong um, Singapore. And then we're gonna put the rubies. Look how pretty that is. Very vibrant and some pearls that we boiled. And um, lastly, we're going to put the coconut milk. We're gonna swirl that around and we're gonna put the agave because um, agave is healthier and more natural. Instead of caramelizing our sugar, we're gonna use agave. But if you guys wanna learn how to caramelize your sugar, let us know, we will show you how to do that. Um, so let us know. I'm gonna put a drizzle. And this is how your naman should look like. And you're gonna, before you eat it, you just have to mix it together. 